Hey guys, uh, this is uh, how to fix your UB modem issue if you can't log in to your panel. Uh, well, some, for example, your password might have changed without you knowing, etc. And you can't access it. For example, if you want to port forward, you can't port forward or access anything to the modem. And, you know, the resetting the router, you know, modem thing doesn't fix, which usually fixes it, but I don't like doing that anymore. So, this is how you pretty much log in. So all you gotta do is take the, the last four. So take, you see your MAC address here. You should see your MAC address here. It's blurred out for reasons, but you would see the last four. You know, you see uh, you see the last four here. Last four, uh, you know, seven, you know, uh, the, the digits thing, you know, you see like your first two things, like the two digits and then colon, two digits and colon. You take the last four with them, and then you're gonna go log in. You're gonna use the name. You're gonna enter that. You're gonna move the colon between each one. So, yeah, and then the password is going to be this. Now you should see it. Uh, you're gonna enter that password in there, and you're gonna log in, and it works. Now I'm gonna show you that uh, that the original password admin admin does not work, and I actually never knew how to uh, you know, <laughs> change my password. So I know I didn't change my password or anything. But usually resetting that already reset it anyway. But I'm gonna show you admin admin does not work. Admin admin does not work. And also, this is just a little, you know, second feature. Uh, if you want to go uh, change, uh, if you want to go change the, you know, NAT mode, bridge mode, router thing, you're gonna want to go to, uh, you know, you should be able to see this here. Let me open a notepad so I can show you. You're gonna go want to go to this. You wanna go to that. This way you can change it. Now you obviously log in using the other information you already found out already. And then you can uh do that. You can change all that information. Now if that doesn't work for you, you could also use uh here. The password all the username and password also could be admin or and the password would be cable root. But depends on the whole old oh, Ruby modem. But the Ruby modem, I'm using this a D, DW, I think, 3611. Yeah, that's what I have. And that it works fine on here. People say it works on other modems, so yeah. Hey, so watch it, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video.